what is up YouTube and welcome to this um, very brief tutorial about what uh, opaque fabric printing ink is and what it does. So this is a, a Speedball brand. I believe there are other brands out there that have the same product. So what I would like to talk about in this video is um, what the ink does specifically. So let's get right into it. So when, when shopping for fabric ink, you might come across uh, a bottle that just says fabric or textile ink and it doesn't say opaque. So opaque basically means you can print on dark fabrics without having to put a base on it. Um, by a base, I mean you need to print white first and then your color over the white to make the yellow show on a white t-shirt, on a black t-shirt, sorry for example, or the gold show that are on a gold, on a darker fabric. So I've actually used the, the opaque gold and it works fantastic. The only thing about it is it has a certain sparkle to it. It's okay for the gold because gold is associated with metallic finish. But when it comes to the yellow, I found that the sparkle can be a bit disturbing especially if you, you if you want a matte finish to it. So that's with the Speedball brand. What I'm going to do next is just demo what it looks like when you print with the opaque fabric, uh, fabric um, ink. You might already know that printing with um, a regular ink on a dark fabric doesn't really show the results as well. So I'm going to demo this right now and I'm super excited about it. So this is the Speedball opaque fabric printing ink. Let's get into it. Okay, so I've got some um, a dark green t-shirt right here. And what I'm gonna do, sorry I'm using my kitchen, I don't have a studio at the moment. Um, what I'm gonna do is just lay it out on the kitchen table, nice and neat. And I'll get my squeegee out in a second. So that we get going. What I'm going to be printing is this logo right here. Uh, copyright, be aware of that. This is just a for, for fun, it's not for sale, so it's not commercial. I'll lay it out and get my squeegee out. We need our ink. Some people ask me, how do you know how much ink to use, and so on and so forth. Well, it's um, based on experience. Once you've done this a couple of times, you kind of have an idea of how much ink to use. So I'll say practice, practice, practice. Sorry if you can't see my face. I usually like to do videos on the, on the run, per se. So all you do now is you just pull across as usual. As if you were doing a regular screen printing gig. That should do it. There we go. That works out pretty okay. So I'll give you a close up of this um, once I've packed away everything and you will see the effect of it. All right. So this is our final result. Um, it turned out pretty good. What you might notice if you print it with regular ink is that it might um, be very faint and look like it's washed out. So the opaque ink gives you that nice solid finish to it, um, like, like you see right here. So I hope you found this useful, and um, I hope to see you in the next one. And just remember, when you're shopping for ink, make sure that it does have opaque on it so what you want to look for is opaque fabric ink and that's all it says i hope you found this useful and um i would love to hear how what your experience is with opaque inks so please do uh, leave a comment in the description below and catch you in the next one